Facebook whistleblower Francis Haugen testified in front of a Senate a committee this week, and then CEO Mark Zuckerberg issued a rebuttal. Should the government, though, force Facebook to make fundamental changes in the way it operates? John Fort uh, is back to weigh in definitively. Yes. On, on uh, what the government should do. As, as always, Joe. And, and Francis Haugen eviscerated Facebook in that hearing. There's no doubt now. The company has to change, and it won't change unless it's forced. First, let's talk about teens. Not only did Haugen talk about the data showing Instagram makes body image issues worse for a third of teen girls who are struggling with those issues, she said algorithms sometimes lead kids into anorexia-related content. And then there's the matter of underage usage. Haugen testified that Facebook safety and enforcement teams are continually understaffed keeping them from making significant progress, battling misinformation and other problems. So when the company shifted away from showing news stories in feeds and towards promoting posts from friends and family, what they call meaningful social interactions, that's when the latest weirdness started. I mean, when our most fringe and provocative and interesting friends started dominating the feed, and now Haugen argues uh, Facebook is wired to prioritize engagement. It's going to take the full force of the government to do what's right for society here, Joe. Um, wow. Mark Zuckerberg, though, John, doesn't seem to believe Facebook is doing anything majorly wrong here. It sounds like clickbait uh, on steroids. I've seen it before. Well, Joe, I, on the other hand, it's, it's really popular to beat up on Facebook right now, but let's take a step back. Its research showed that a third of girls with body image issues on Instagram said Instagram made them feel worse. But doesn't that mean two-thirds said it made them feel the same or better? Maybe? I got questions about that. And this idea that Facebook is looking to shovel kids onto its platform. Did you know that uh, new Instagram accounts of users 13 to 17 are set to private by default? TikTok doesn't do that. If Facebook didn't care about anything but engagement, you'd think they wouldn't do that either. A uh, major solution Haugen and others are proposing here is that Facebook open up its data so that researchers can understand how social media is influencing society. Sounds great. Also sounds dangerous. I mean, a lot of us don't want to give government a backdoor into our phones, right? Then you really want to be careful about giving them a backdoor into social media, into all your interests, views, and likes. Let's be really careful about giving regulators access to our data to save us from Facebook, Joe. It's pretty good. I didn't even think about that. That's a pretty good point you make, though, John. I mean, That's, I've got, it'd I've be got, scrub data. It wouldn't be our yeah. data directly, right? Like we're, we're not talking about letting the government have a backdoor in to see everything that Becky Quick is doing or John Ford is doing or Joe Kernan is doing. We're talking about scrub data that we'd like to see the stuff that they're conducting and see what the results show. It's a pretty different, different scenario. I think the question is, can you scrub the data and still have it be useful for research? And that is a core question, I think, in this that then so leads to Facebook the algorithm. So that's why Facebook will show us the data, because we want to protect your privacy? Well, that's what Facebook would say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just giving a couple of arguments here. But, but, but you're right, Jesse. I have body image problems, and I've never been on Instagram. So it, it has... Uh, right? Well, maybe there's a chance, Joe, if you do get on Instagram, that you'll either feel the same or better. So, I, I, if it's like Twitter, I, I don't know if it, I don't know if that's going to pay off or not. <laughs> do, you, do you have any self-esteem uh, staying um, on Twitter? I don't know. That's a whole separate. John, you uh, usually sway me with both your arguments. Did, this did it, time you didn't. No, not today. No, usually you can push me either direction. I can say, yeah, I can. That makes sense to me, or this makes sense to me. But we only we are only making 33 percent of our users feel bad about themselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.